This is Justin Jefferson. Best player on the field today. Appreciate you. Really Appreciate you a lot. And this is Fred Warner. You know, my third year was when A-Rod after the game told me he's like, you're the best. Like, you should be all pro. They are just two of the many players that make Aaron Rodgers' dream football team. Our objective today is to fill the rest of this empty Madden team full of players that Aaron Rodgers acknowledges or talks about in these videos. If this team fails to achieve a 90 overall, I will be giving away a jersey of any player that you see in this video. I mean, it could literally be this guy that Aaron Rodgers is talking about right now. Which is the DB you hate playing against the most? The guy who I would put up there right with him is, is uh, Charles Woodson. Charles Woodson! Charles was the best player I played with. With adding Charles Woodson to the team, that just knocked off one of many challenges for today. Add a former teammate of Aaron Rodgers. The rest of this list includes adding a Hall of Famer, adding a Super Bowl champion, and adding a New York Jet. And in this next clip, Aaron Rodgers really emphasizes how much he loves Micah Parsons game. He's got a lot of things that he just can't coach. The effort that he plays with is incredible. And I liked his disposition. I liked how coachable that he was. And he knew he was going to be a player just by the way they were talking about him and stuff you saw in practice. But... Dude, Aaron Rodgers loves Micah Parsons. He's definitely a, a, a one of one in this league. I don't know if there's anybody that's doing as many things as they're asking him to do. 98 overall, Micah Parsons. Don't mind if I do. This is one of the best cards in the game. A 98 overall right outside linebacker. Micah Parsons, I will gladly fill my empty right outside linebacker spot with you any day of the week. And although adding Micah Parsons wouldn't complete any of our challenges, this next player for sure would knock out a challenge. Were you expecting uh, Jalen Ramsey to, to travel and to cover Devontae? Or do they not normally do that? I, he looked like he was frustrated at times when they're playing zone. All of a sudden, Devontae motions to the other side. He, you know, he's been playing a lot of nickel actually uh, for them, probably because he's such a great player and you can maybe at times lose, you know, him in games. He's a really good blitzer and, and he can cover. Oh, he loves Jalen Ramsey. 98 overall team of the year, Jalen Ramsey. We have so many team of the year players to add. It's like every single player that Aaron Rodgers admires and respects are just good players. So I guess it makes sense that they have the best cards in the game. But Jalen Ramsey, you will be our cornerback one opposite of Charles Woodson. And with that, Jalen Ramsey, he gets to check off our second challenge, which is to add a Super Bowl champion. And although we just mentioned a Super Bowl champion in Jalen Ramsey, this next guy may be the sole reason why Jalen Ramsey has a Super Bowl ring today. Most of the real, real impact players when it comes to pass rush are edge rushers. A little different with uh, 99. He's a special, special player, and he's somebody that you uh, gotta be worried about. Somebody that you gotta be worried about. That is an understatement for sure. Okay, Aaron Donald has a couple good cards. He's got a 96 overall. Okay. 96 overall Redux Aaron Donald for 275,000 coins. I have to cop that for sure. Aaron Donald, welcome to the team, bud. Adding Jalen Ramsey and Aaron Donald back to back. Welcome to the team. Oh, this, this video is so dope. Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams back on the Packers watching the Jets fly over. This is such a symbolic video, I'm not gonna lie. But I feel like that video didn't do it justice, so let's really see how Aaron Rodgers feels about Devontae Adams. But I, I felt like, you know, he was gonna be back. Didn't obviously turn out that way, but I have so much love for Tay and appreciate the time we spent together. And that's a big hole to fill, for sure. Man, Devontae Adams and Aaron Rodgers. They used to run the league, for sure. Well, good news for us, Devontae Adams just got a 98 overall Easter card. And oh my God, that is a pretty penny. 531,000 coins for one of the best wide receivers in the entire game. This man has base 98 speed and this is pretty much a golden ticket. This card is literally a golden ticket. So I'm not gonna waste time. I'm gonna pick up this card and add Devontae Adams to the team as our first wide receiver. But we wouldn't be done adding wide receivers just yet. Best player on the field today. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Ryan. Best player on the field today. If I'm not mistaken, this is the week one game where Justin Jefferson went off. He went crazy for like two touchdowns. And furthermore, Aaron Rodgers speaks about that very performance on Pat McAfee's show. I've been a fan of his since I watched him in college. And he's a dynamic player who is an excellent route runner. He's probably watched the best his position over the last couple of years. And that would be probably Devontae Adams. A nice callback to Devontae Adams. So although we just added Devontae Adams, we get to add his comparison. According to Aaron Rodgers, this man shares a very similar play style to one of his favorite teammates ever, Justin Jefferson, team of the year card, 98 overall, another team of the year card. But regardless, Justin Jefferson, you will be opposite of Devontae Adams. And so this is what the team currently looks like right now. We have two players on offense and we have the majority of our players on 
defense. And although we just got these two stud 98 overall wide receivers, they still need a quarterback. But don't worry, Aaron Rodgers has us hooked up in this next video with his dream quarterback. Name your top five quarterback of all the time. Top five quarterbacks. I'm not gonna put myself on there. Hey, uh, Tom. Uh, I'm gonna put Tom in there. Joe Montana, Steve Young, Favre. And Favre. And although we chose multiple quarterbacks, the very first quarterback that he selected was Tom Brady, the GOAT. Okay, I know Tom Brady has a 99 overall, so I'm just praying this isn't a lot. Okay, only 745,000 coins. Actually, not bad. Career tribute Thomas Brady. This golden 99 is sick. It has built-in gunslinger, and that Carter is phenomenal. Amazing work by the EA devs to create such a masterpiece of a card. But 745,000 coins for a quarterback. Oh, that stings the wallet a little bit, but for a golden 99 overall quarterback, and especially for Thomas Brady, I will do it. So we now have our quarterback at the helm in Tom Brady, and we obviously get to check off adding a Hall of Famer because Tom Brady is definitely one of the best to ever do it. So now all you have to do is add one of Aaron Rodgers' newest teammates, a New York Jet. But first, we still have a couple of his older teammates to get through. Aaron, do you remember your reaction when you guys extended him this offseason? My reaction? When you guys extended Aaron Jones. Not my exact reaction, no. I don't. Surprised? Uh, Dude. No, I mean, I... He's so sarcastic. What's it mean to have a guy like Aaron Jones, especially for you to have such a big night and for him to be able to honor his dad? Big question. Yeah, I mean, he's been through a lot. He's a great uh, great human being. He adds a lot to our team as just a player. He's a, just different when you watch the film of 33s back there. Wow, what a compliment. And lucky for us, Aaron Jones does have one team of the year card up on the auction house. 754,000 coins. We can acquire this Aaron Jones. And I know for sure Aaron Rodgers would love that. So let me hurry up, stop talking, and pick up this card. We now have our new halfback one for Aaron Rodgers' dream team. Bill and I have been friends for a number of years now, and so we keep in, in contact often. We talk mm. at various times over the years. Obviously, with a player like that, you, you always uh, hope and there's a, a time where you can figure things out and play together. Aaron Rodgers and OBJ? But thankfully for this dream team, Odell Beckham Jr. will be on it because I just gave him a 98 overall free agency card. And he was also on Justin Jefferson's dream team. But he was not in the game yet when this ca this card did not drop yet. So we weren't able to add him to the team, but yes, today sir. we can. Yes, Odell Beckham Jr., you are now our third wide receiver. And with an offense filled to the brim with offensive talent at the skilled positions, we were still missing an entire offensive line. So this next video would help us out drastically. Have you said anything to Bakhtiari about what you might want in return now that he's the highest paid tackle in the NFL? Ooh. The best part, I think, out of all the gifts last year, was I, I offered a trip up. Bakhtiari, Turner, and Lindsley came down, went to Cabo, and had a good time down there playing some golf. And oh, love it. Three offensive linemen off the board. David Bakhtiari, 96 overall left tackle. David Bakhtiari, thank you. We also have to get a couple more offensive linemen. One of them being Coy Lindsley, who only has an 85 overall core elite. This may suck for the overall, but at least it doesn't suck for my wallet. 3,000 coins. <laughs> I'm fine with that. And last Last but not least, we get to add Billy Turner to the team. And he only has a 91 overall. It is a right tackle. And he's another heavyweight card. Okay. So, I mean, I, I, you know what? I'll take it. How good is Harrison Smith? I feel like that dude should get talked about all the time. Harrison Smith. I mean, I think I think the way that he disguises should probably be standard secondary um, teaching tape. He is the most difficult person, I think, in the league. The most difficult player in the league. Aaron Rodgers definitely has had his hands full over the years with Harrison Smith. But thankfully for us, he has a 97 overall AKA card. And that, that, that card is so sick. Hitman, AKA LTD. That card art's sick. The name is sick. Harris Smith, you will now fill out our starting strong safety role. And with the offense looking like this and the defense looking like this, we still have a lot of holes to fill. And for every player that we are missing by the end of this video, I will have to replace with silver players, which will completely diminish our overall. And to help us out, Aaron Rodgers gives us one of the best cards in the game. You know, my third year was when A-Rod after the game told me he's like, you're the best, like you should be all pro. Wow. And lucky for us, Fred Warner has a golden 99 overall middle linebacker card. But that card is so sick. Golden 99 overall. Overall, our second one on the squad, Fred Warner. Thank you. In case you missed it, Aaron Rodgers and David Bakhtiari wants Clay Matthews back. Bring him back. But you can see this man wants Clay Matthews back in the Green Bay Packers uniform. This was actually like two years ago. So don't worry about getting your hopes up, Packers fans, because this happened a while ago. But we get a 91 overall Clay Matthews card. Unfortunately, his ultimate legend was not on the auction house, but I will take this 91 overall Clay Matthews. It's fine with
with me. It's better than a silver, so Clay Matthews, I will gladly take you. Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers also spoke of Clark with high regard, saying that he has been an underrated player for us. He is such a solid force inside. His game has expanded every year. I think that teams that play him know how dominant he can be. That was a simple yet short name drop, but Kenny Clark, you are now on the team, and you are only an 84 overall. I was not expecting you to have such a low overall, but regardless, you are better than a silver, so I will take you. Welcome to the team. Hey, right, 12. <laughs> now, out of all people, I wanted to wear some white socks. You know what they told me? They said, Z, no white socks today. 15 years, bro. Uh, you had to hit me with that. The Darius Smith. Thankfully for us, the Darius Smith is a 97 overall, and he, although he is a Viking now, he was once a Packer, and he was once Aaron Rodgers' teammates. And Aaron Rodgers would definitely love to have him on his team nowadays, for sure. Having impressed Aaron Rodgers, Taysom Hill takes aim at Packers' number three quarterback job. This was in 2017. That's how you know how long ago it was. He's super athletic, Rodgers said, and he's just a great kid. In case you didn't know, Taysom Hill actually started his career out in Green Bay. So Aaron Rodgers does have some familiarity with Taysom Hill, but nowadays he is a tight end. So this 98 overall tight end Taysom Hill for 700,000 coins. Oh, that hurts the wallet. We now have our starting tight end, so I am more than thankful for it. Aaron Rodgers sees no fear in ascending Packers cornerback Jair Alexander. I think he's a great player. I really do. I think he's got a great disposition. He's not afraid of going up against number one receivers, which can't be said really about every corner we've had around here in the past. Jair Alexander, 98 overall. He has definitely helped Aaron Rodgers win multiple games in the past, but he is definitely going to be on his dream team no matter what. And with adding all these amazing players, we still have yet to complete our final challenge in adding a New York Jet. But this last video will help us a ton. At this point, as I sit here, you know, I think since Friday, I made it clear that my intention was to play and my intention was to play for the New York Jets. Wow. And since he is going to New York, I know there is just one player that he is going to be so ecstatic to have on his team. And that is Quinnen Williams. This man is due for a payday. I'm not, I don't know. Maybe he already got a payday. I don't really know. I know Aaron Rodgers is going to love to have him on his dream team. So Quinnen Williams, you are now our defensive tackle. And with Quinnen Williams being a New York Jets, we get to complete all of our challenges, leaving only the overall challenge remaining. Okay, so this is what the final squad looks like. We're only missing three players on offense, while we're only missing two players on defense. Now, all we have to do is fill these remaining spots with silvers, and if it manages to stay above a 90 overall, then I complete this challenge. And after adding all of the remaining silver players in, wow, we managed to stay above a 90 overall. We are a 91 overall. But managed to complete both of today's challenges. And unfortunately for you guys, I will not be able to give away a jersey. But stay tuned for future videos because I do not complete these challenges all the time and future jerseys will be given away to one of you boys. But this is a pretty nasty team for A-Rod. I cannot lie. Do you think this team can win a Super Bowl? Let me know. Another thing I wanted to know was what Justin Jefferson's dream team would look like. I wanted to answer this question, so I ended up building Justin Jefferson's dream team myself. The video has popped up on the screen right here. You don't want to miss it. That was a banger. So click right here to check it out if you enjoyed this video.